Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to K8 MRD Radio Stuff. My name is Mike. If you're new to the channel or you just haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It'll put a little smile on your face and it'll make me feel happier. <laughs> Guys, I wanna share something with you that I just discovered last week. I was in Denver, Colorado, setting up for a convention geared towards the outdoors. And I was walking around to the convention center before the show was opened, just checking out all the booths. And I came across this booth that had batteries. Naturally, I said, ooh, I need to check this out. What are these? So I stopped by and I talked to a gentleman named Jeff. He's the sales and marketing director for a company called Pale Blue. They make these batteries here, okay? Now, what's so special about these batteries? Well, these are lithium ion rechargeable batteries and I have been using rechargeable batteries for years and years and years. I don't even remember the last time I bought a battery that wasn't rechargeable, but I've been using these Duracell batteries and they're nickel metal hydride. They don't really last that long. I've got, I don't even know how many of these I have, but you go to the drugstore, you get the, you get four of these in the charger for 20 bucks. Okay. So fairly inexpensive and they last, but Lithium is really kind of paving the way now and it's becoming more cost effective to, to get some lithium batteries. So I'm, I'm slowly starting to change over to lithium. And the pale blue batteries are not that much more expensive. The double A's I paid $29.99 for, for four of them. Uh, and it comes with their USB charger. I'm gonna show you all this stuff. The nine volts, two nine volt batteries were like 25 bucks. This is totally not a sponsored video. I saw him, I talked to the, me and this guy just like nerded out on batteries for like 10 minutes. <laughs> so I immediately went back to the hotel room, hopped on Amazon and bought these. But what I really like about these guys, I checked out their website and, and we were kind of talking about it at the trade show, is they're really, one, they're a US company, okay? That's most important. There's a lot of lithium batteries on the market and they're just these Chinese companies who make all kinds of false claims and this, that and the other thing. Now, full disclosure, these cells are from China. Pretty much every battery in the world is from China uh, in terms of lithium that I'm aware of. So uh, unfortunately they're still producing them. But the, the thing that really stood out when I was talking with Jeff is their concern for our planet. Now I don't really talk about my political views and I'm not going to in this uh, time, but I love our planet. I love the outdoors. I love fishing. I love everything that our big blue planet provides for us. And I don't love how quickly the human race is really trying to destroy our planet. So uh, Pale Blue is really on a mission to kind of do their own part in terms of sustainability and renewability. The packaging, recycled packaging, the, the cells, they rate these at up to a thousand charge cycles, which is actually really unheard of for, for this type of chemistry, the lithium polymer. And I asked them how they did that, and it's basically through the BMS. Uh, they've, they've tweaked it so uh, you can get more charge cycles out of these. So what does that mean? Well, here's four batteries. A thousand charge cycles, okay? So this is saving 4,000 batteries from being thrown out and in a landfill. Same thing with the nine volts. Uh, I play guitar. There's, unfortunately, nine volts are used a lot in music gear for some reason, and uh, I go through them quite often and the nine volts, rechargeable nine volt batteries are either hard to come by or they're actually sized a little bit bigger. And in my acoustic guitar, uh, I have to actually use a pair of pliers to get these out. So these are actually sized accordingly. We're gonna find out, I'm gonna test if they actually fit. Jeff said they were uh, the, the same size as a regular nine volt battery. So we're gonna check that out. But uh, you know, just caring about the environment, making that kind of statement, uh, they're based out of Utah, I believe, and uh, just it was really cool to meet him and uh, learn a little bit about their products. And if you care about the earth and care about batteries and you want to do your part to save the planet a little bit, pick up some Pale Blue Earths. I'll leave some affiliate links in the description, but let's hop over in the bench, let's crack these open, and I'll show you what these are all about. All right, let's check out some batteries. So here's everything we get in the AA, I bought the four pack. So we obviously get four batteries. They both come in these nice plastic uh, kind of cases, if you will. And the double A's came with this USB 
to micro USB to four of them so you can charge all four of these batteries at once off the USB. That is absolutely freaking awesome. And with the two double A's, you get a USB to micro USB that has two of them. So that's pretty sweet. Let's look at the packaging really quick. Uh, they pretty much both say the same thing, but uh, we got lithium ion batteries, fast charging, 1000 cycles. That is absolutely amazing for lithium polymer. Uh, that's that's pretty freaking sweet. So uh, comes in a nice recycled packaging, 1% uh, for the planet. They're a member of that, which is cool. Uh, just definitely caring about the environment there. Uh, let's see, that's showing they got the four to one USB. Two hours charge time for the double A's. Uh, we've got 1.5 volts at 1500 milliamps uh, is the capacity, two and a quarter watt hours. So that's cool. And let's see, what are the nine volts? Pretty much the same thing. The nine volts are a 500 milliamps. So a little bit lower capacity on the nine volts, but with a thousand charge cycles, uh, I will have these batteries for a very, very long time and uh, four and a half watt hours. It takes three hours to charge these guys. So let's take a look at the batteries themselves. I am excited to look at these because I am a battery nerd. <laughs> so let's get these guys out. And wow, uh, the first thing I notice is just how incredibly lightweight these things, they don't weigh anything. <laughs> it feels like there's nothing inside here. I'm so used to the, the nickel metal hydride. Wow, these are incredibly light. So that is freaking cool. So let's take a look. Obviously we've got the plus and the minus. Um, here we've got the capacity and stuff on it and your ratings and such. Let's see, caution, don't short circuit or do anything fun with it. So they take all the fun out of it. But look at the USB, um, a micro USB right on the battery. That's where you charge it. That is freaking awesome. And this little band right here, that's actually a light. When you plug these in and they charge, that light blinks, it's, it's flashes. And then uh, I think when, it, when it's kind of done charging, uh, it turns off. Uh, that is freaking cool. That is very, very cool. Let's take a look at the nine volts. There we are. So here, let's look at one of them. I mean, it looks just like a regular nine volt battery, except it's lithium ion, I love it. And then some warnings and stuff, same thing, don't have any fun with it. Uh, and then you got your capacity and stuff. But let's look at the bottom. Look at what they've done here. You've got a micro USB for charging and they included a USB-C. That is freaking cool. I wish these would have had USB-C instead of micro USB because that's kind of where the world is going these days, but that is too awesome. And I don't know if you can see that little hole there is actually your charge indicator light. So very, very cool. And let me tell you, I have other lithium batteries in AA and 9 volt, and they all take a charger. You've got to put them in the actual like dock. They don't have uh, USB charging capabilities. This is so much more convenient for me because I have a battery box with me pretty much always, and I've got a uh, USB charging port right here, so I can always charge these on the go. Most people don't build battery boxes like that. You might have some kind of power bank like this and you can charge these on the go if you're camping or out in the wilderness hiking or whatever the heck you're doing when you need batteries or say your power's out. You know, you, you have these extra power sources. You don't have to plug these into the wall. I love, love, love the fact that these charge with USB. So let's plug these in and have some fun. You gotta plug them in backwards first. <laughs> That's every USB. How cool is this? I. I'm just nerding out in batteries right now. So we got those, let's plug these guys in. I wish they would have just given USB-C though, honestly. So we can plug this into here. Look at that, we can see the lights are lit up. That means these are charging. That's great. Let's plug these guys in. Look at that. All these flashing lights, like it's Christmas. How cool is that? So all of these batteries are charging off this one power bank, or if I wanted to, I could plug them in to my battery box here. There's a solar charge controller in here. I can hook a solar panel up to this so I can charge my internal battery. I can charge these batteries. This is just the bee's knees. I freaking absolutely love these. So freaking cool. And now you can see 
these have these have been charging. Um, so now the light is solid. So that means they're kind of done charging. The instructions aren't a hundred percent clear, but you basically go from like a blinking to a solid to off. So that's kind of your charge cycle. And there we go. Now they're off. So these are fully charged. So that's great. And these ones probably still have a little bit more time, but I suspect they will do exactly the same thing. How cool. Pale blue batteries, gotta love them. So the last rechargeable nine volts that I had, I basically had to force in here and use a pair of pliers to get out because it was just too darn big. So let's see if these fit. Oh yeah, no problem. Plenty of wiggle room there, I can take it out. That's great. Close the lid here, push this little button, red light means good. Tuner's on and it plays. Beautiful. And you know, just for giggles, since we're checking size, this is my Shure QLXD for my, uh, my wireless for my guitar. Let's just see and make sure they fit here. No problem there. Love it. Turns on. Everything is good. Full battery indicator. That's fantastic. Now the last thing I want to do is just check the voltages and see how uh, balanced they are. So this one's 1.513, 1 1.521, 1 1.521, 1 1.521. Interesting. So these three are all the same. This one's low. Interesting. I wonder what their margin of error is or uh, what their quality control is. Hmm, <laughs> very curious. Yeah, that's weird. Okay. And let's check the nine volts. So we've got 8.96 on that one and 9.05 on that. So another discrepancy between cells. Huh, that's interesting. What say you, pale blue? I would expect these to be a bit closer. So we have two sets of batteries between the double A's and the nine volts, and they all have inconsistencies in voltages. Interesting. Again, I, I don't know what uh, the tolerance is for lithium polymer. I deal with a lot of lithium iron phosphate, so I know what to expect there. Um, these aren't horribly unbalanced, but uh, I would like to see them a little bit closer. So I'm not gonna judge that, I'm just going to show that because I don't know enough about lithium polymer chemistry to make a concrete statement on the uh, variation in voltages between these cells. Another important thing to consider with lithium batteries specifically is the voltage curve. And by that I mean it, it's gonna stay relatively the same voltage uh, throughout the entire charge cycle, if you will, or, or discharge cycle. Uh, where So basically what that means is, if I were to put this Duracell rechargeable battery in a flashlight, because this is not quite as good a technology as lithium, basically the voltage kind of starts to taper off right away, okay? So what that means is your flashlight will be really bright in the beginning, but over the course of this battery's cycle, if you will, the discharge cycle, that, that light is gonna start to get dimmer and dimmer and dimmer over time. Where lithium, specifically, is gonna stay more of a consistent voltage through the entire discharge cycle. So what that means is your flashlight will stay bright almost the entire time until this battery is darn near depleted and then it'll kind of just cut off and uh, it'll start getting weaker and weaker and, and die. So they're gonna keep your devices running at full speed until the battery is depleted. So another thing to consider, a little food for thought there for you. So anyway, that's all I got, guys. Just wanted to share these batteries that I just discovered with you because I think they're freaking awesome and I really like what Pale Blue stands for uh, with their sustainability and our planet. And you know, I totally support that. They make batteries from AAA all the way through D-Cell. So that's pretty awesome. They all come with their own little USB charging uh, cables and everything like that. They all charge the same way. So 
very consistent across the board. I will leave an affiliate link to Amazon if you want to pick some of these up that help me out. It doesn't cost you anything, but I get a little cut of that. And uh, I'll also leave a link to palebluearth.com so you can read all about what they're all about. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you again on another episode of K&M Radio Stuff. 73, guys. <laughs>